Hi, I'm Dave from boinaband.com, and this is my tutorial on how to make a seriously bassy sub bass in Reason. I'll be using Thor to make this because I'm scarily obsessed with it, but you can do this with any other synth that is capable of making a sine wave, such as Malstrom, using the same principles I'll be discussing. Okay, let's begin. Start by playing the beat here. Nice bit of G-Funk there. So, we're going to start by creating, right click, create a combinator. Let's name this Bass 2. Now I'm just going to move the bass notes I've got into our new channel so we can hear the synth as it builds up. And I'll solo our new channel here. Inside here we want to right click and create Thor Polysonic Synthesizer. Now right click it and initialize the patch. Now this is less than ideal at the moment, so we're going to create three analog oscillators and turn them all to sine waves, send them through with the 1, 2 and 3 buttons there and make a 3 octave spread. Okay. In the mixer, we want to turn the balance more towards 2, so the bassiness is more prominent than the, the higher end of the three octave spread. Now into the filter, turn the filter envelope amount down to zero and here, before I forget, in the amp envelope turn the sustain up to full so it doesn't lose any volume over time. Okay, now the secret to making seriously bassy sub bass, turn the resonance up to really high, just over the hundreds, and now if we sweep the frequency yeah, I'll just turn up the drive a bit, so we can hear it better. We sweep the frequency over the different frequencies, frequency knob over the different frequencies. You can hear at some point, it's a lot louder and has much more harmonic content than at any other points. If you find that point, there it is. It's when the filter is resonating at the same fundamental frequency as the bass, creating what is known as a self-oscillating filter, which is really bassy and powerful. And this is how you make sub-bass that you can really feel. Now, since this bass is just sine waves, it doesn't really have that much harmonic content. L a low-end sound with little harmonic content is more difficult to make out in the mix. And if you just want a bassy effect with no presence, so just something you can feel, you can leave the patch like this. But to be able to hear it as well as feel it, try this. Right click, create, Scream 4 Distortion. Turn off the cut and the body, turn the damage control to full, select tube, and turn P1, parameter 1, that's the uh, contour, to 0, and the bias to full. Now, it's a lot, it has a lot more presence now, and it's a bit distorted as well. Distortion is a great way to add harmonic content to an otherwise clean bass sound, making it much more present in the mix. However, we still want this to be a bass effect, so right click, create, M class equalizer. Now, we're going to take off the high end completely. Like this, and really boost the low end here. Just everything above about 300 hertz, just try and get rid of. And there you can hear that bass is back, but it has more of a kind of a presence than it did before. Okay. Now, lastly, since boosting like this changes the volume radically, we'll add an M class maximizer, right click, create, M class maximizer to the signal chain. Hit the 4 milliseconds look ahead so the entire signal is limited and turn the input game to full and this will just mean that it brings the level to a completely consistent level with the rest of the song. Okay, one last thing before I go. For a G-Funk track like this you want the bass to shuffle. A quick way to do this is to click on the regroove mixer button down here, click open on one of the channels and in the Reason Factory sound bank, just show you here, in the regroove patches I'll just pick one from the MPC60 folder, a really prominent one so you can hear the difference. 75% shuffle there. If I close this mixer quickly and in the channel lane, hit this drop down here, select groove, and it was A2. 
there. Instant shuffle. Now if I put this back into the mix and hear what it sounds like. Brilliant. Instant swing for funky hip hop. And there you have it. A sub-shakingly heavy bass that swings like a white trash girl whose parents never loved her. Get in your low rider, turn the volume up, pull your trousers down, and nod your head at everyone who is clearly jealous of how cool you are. If you found this tutorial useful, help me out by rating this video, or posting a comment so other people can find it. And don't forget to check out my website, boyinaband.com. Have a nice day!